Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in this session, let us have a look on structures through pointers. So in the previous sessions, we have seen the definition of a structure. So how to define a structure in the program and how to declare a structure variable and how to initialize the structure variables. And important thing is how to access the members of a structure using the structure variable. So in this session, let us have a look on how to access the members using the pointers. So first of all, we have to create a structure that means we have to define a structure and then we have to declare a structure variable as well as a pointer variable and then we have to initialize the pointer variable with a structure and by using these pointers we have to access the members of a structure so as we know the pointers concept here we will use two operators that is star and ampersand star is a value operator and ampersand is the address operator right so here we have to declare a pointer and initialize the pointer with some variable so that means here a pointer variable is a variable which holds the address of another variable that means first we are creating or we are declaring a variable and then we are declaring the pointer variable and we are initializing this pointer variable with another variable address of another variable the same procedure will be followed in the structures also so first we have to define a structure then declare a structure variable and then declare a pointer variable and then assign the address of a structure variable with the pointer variable and now we have to access the members of a structure using these pointers see let us see that so if we define a structure Struct student. Let us take a tag name student. So int roll number character name and then float percentage. Close. And create one structure variable here so we can create a structure variable at the definition itself or inside the main function so anywhere we can create the structure variable now this is the first part define a structure second declare structure variable third one declare pointer variable so pointer variable should be declared so how to declare a pointer variable so in the normal pointer integer pointer so every pointer should have a data type right so whatever the address we are storing into the pointer variable that data type should be used as used for the declaration of this pointer so if int a that means if a pointer uh, is used to hold the address of integer variable we have to declare that pointer with the integer data type so if a pointer is used to hold the floating point the address of floating point variable we have to declare the pointer with the floating point data type similarly here we are supposed to store the address of a structure variable so the pointer should be declared using the structure a simple logic so in order to let us uh, let us initialize the here so in order to declare a structure variable what is the syntax we have seen the struct tag name variable name so in order to declare a pointer which stores the address of a structure the same we have to write struct student star ptr so here ptr 
is a pointer variable which is declared using the structure and it stores the address of a structure variable which is which follows the student structure so after the declaration we have to initialize so here after declaration so what is the initialization we have to assign the address of a to the pointer variable similarly here also we have to assign the structure of the sorry the address of structure variable to the pointer variable the same syntax nothing is changed so this is the definition declaration of a structure variable declaration of a pointer variable and then initialization next fifth one is the most important so now how to access the members of a structure how to access the members of a structure through pointer so a normal accessing is so how to access the members using the structure variable we will use the structure variable dot the member name role number similarly s1 dot name s1 dot percentage this is a normal way how we access the structure i mean members of a structure using the structure variable now the question is we have to access the members of a structure using the pointer variable so here we will use an another operator called arrow operator arrow operator so in order to access the members of a structure by using the structure variable we will use the dot operator so in order to access the members of a structure using the pointer variable we will use arrow operator so how to get this arrow operator in our keyboard just press the minus and greater than symbol minus and greater than symbol so that we can get this arrow operator so by using this arrow operator we will access the members of a structure using this pointer so in order to access the roll number of a student one we can write it as s1 dot roll number this is a normal access whereas coming to this pointer ptr arrow mark roll number similarly name ptr arrow mark name similarly ptr arrow mark percentage so both will result the same so this is a dot operator a normal axis and this is an arrow operator pointer axis so let us see the program so let us initialize only one variable and then let us initialize the pointer variable and access the members of a structure using these pointers So first to define a structure, struct student int role number character name of 20 next float sorry percentage close the structure open the main function so now we have to declare a structure variable and the pointer variable so struct student s1 so in the same single statement we can declare the pointer variable also star ptr so here s1 is a normal variable structure variable and ptr is a pointer variable which is declared using the struct variable. now initialization ptr is equal to ampersand s1 so s1 the address of s1 is initialized to the pointer variable now printf enter roll number scanf percentage d ampersand s1 dot 
roll number or we can simply write ampersand ptr of s1 i mean roll number print if enter name scan f percentage yes s1 dot name as it is a string we need not write this ampersand symbol then again print if enter percentage scan f percentage f ampersand s1 dot prc now if you want to print this we can simply write s1 dot name s1 dot roll number or s1 dot percentage or we can simply write print f roll number is equal to percentage d so instead of writing s1 dot roll number we can access the value using this pointer so ptr of roll number so it will also give the same result next print f name is equal to percentage yes same ptr of name print f percentage percentage is equal to percentage f ptr arrow operator prc so here also we can write ampersand ptr arrow arrow operator roll number ptr arrow operator name and ampersand ptr arrow operator percentage so everything is same because we are initializing the address to the pointer variable so the, the important thing we have to remember is in order to access the members using the structure variable we have to use the dot operator and in order to access the members of a structure using the pointers we have to use the arrow operator arrow operator dot operator using structure variable this is pointer variable So, hope you understood this is a simple concept. So, the structures through pointers. So, if you like my videos, share my videos with your friends. And if you are having any doubts regarding our regarding the C language, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And do subscribe to my channel for more technical videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.